Hello and welcome to the prototype for the new Australian Curriculum website. Let's jump straight in. First, I'm going to select a subject, Mathematics, and a year level, Year 3. I click Submit. And what we see is the Understand This Learning Area slide out window. This gives us all the background information about the learning area. I'm going to pop that away for the minute. I can come back to it at any time by clicking on the Understand This Learning Area button at the top of the screen. And here's our new look learning area page. We can see that the achievement standard is now front and center and above it is the level description. I can open and close that. Below the achievement standard are the work sample portfolios and then we have our content descriptions organized by strand. Before I move on, let me show you some new functionality with the achievement standards. If I click on any sentence in the achievement standard, that sentence is highlighted and the screen moves down to show me all of the content descriptions that are related to that particular part of the achievement standard. We think that's going to be really helpful for teachers when they're looking at those connections between the content and the achievement standards. I'm just going to close that. Now looking at the content descriptions themselves, in mathematics we have six strands. Now what's really neat is that I can actually reorganize those strands to create a view that suits me. So I like to see number, measurement, then space. Here we go, my personalized view of the curriculum. As I'm looking at each of the content descriptions, I can see that they are tagged with icons. Those icons now have little float overs that tell me that this is in fact numeracy. And I can then see where that icon appears across the curriculum. I can click into the content description to find out more about it. Here I can see that this content description, as I said, tagged with numeracy, and I can drill down into that tagging to find out exactly where in the continuum that connection has been made. Here are my elaborations, and I can scroll through them to see the tagging against each elaboration. I can also come down and view related resources. We haven't added those to the prototype yet, but when we do, you'll be able to jump straight into the Scootle collection, as well as curated resources from the ACARA website. I'll slide that window away now and we'll go into another view that we know teachers think are really important and that is being able to look at two learning areas side by side. So I'm going to add to my view here digital technologies. Just click on that, click submit and my learning area page rebuilds to show me both digital technologies and mathematics side by side. Now I can add as many learning areas as I like and I can rearrange them to again create the view that I want to see. As I look at the achievement standards for digital technologies, I can see that there's actually a learning area achievement standard as well as a subject achievement standard. The achievement standard functionality continues to work for each of those and I can simply close the one that's less relevant to my school context. Scrolling down, I want to show you another piece of new functionality we think will be really helpful to teachers looking to integrate curriculum. And that is related content. So this particular content description here has been tagged as having related content. So let me jump into the content description slide out. We can see it's a content description about describing and following algorithms in mathematics. And the related content is from digital technologies in years three and four which is also about following and describing algorithms, particularly sequencing, branching, etc. Now I can actually click into that content description in digital technologies to explore that further and really understand the relationship between the two. I'll slide that away. We've also added new functionality to our general capabilities and cross-curriculum priorities pages. Let me go up to the F to 10 curriculum tab here. And I'm going to show you first the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander histories and cultures priority. I click on the priority. Here's my slide out with all the background information about the priority. I'll pop that away for the minute. And our new look cross curriculum priority page. Some brief information in the overview section here. And then we come down to our organizing ideas. They're collected in three sets, country and place, culture and people. And as I scroll down, I can see that each of the organizing ideas has also been tagged. But here, they're tagged to learning areas and subjects. Now, let me show you really quickly the general capabilities new look and feel. I'm going to jump into critical and creative thinking. 
Again, our slide out window with the background information. And here's our new look general capabilities page. We have four elements for critical and creative thinking, and I can move across them here. And then if we stick to our inquiring element and I scroll down, we can see that there are two sub elements. We have a brief description of each sub element, and then we jump into the continuum itself. And again, the continuum is now tagged with learning areas and subjects so that we can see at each level where there's content from across the learning areas that relates to that particular statement in the continuum. We think you're really going to enjoy the new functionality we've built into the Australian Curriculum website and I look forward to sharing the brand new website with you early next year.